The war in heaven had begun, and the culture, even the mighty culture and the cosmic compact, had to decide which side they would be on. Whom would we join, or would we try to stay independent? It wasn't a question. Whoever supported war in the galaxy could not be supported. And now it is official. The war in heaven. Ever since the awakening of the Sutherian and their ancient valid rivals, the two giants have been at odds, skirmishing and jockeying for influence, probing each other's might. This has resulted in a series of increasingly terse confrontations, finally erupting in an open battle between a Sutherian fleet and their valid counterparts in a remote system. The conflict has now escalated into full-blown war between the Sutherian enforcers and the Velod fanatics. Each side has sent a representative to the younger races, promising great rewards for those who join them in their war and terrible punishments for those who choose to stand against them. Choosing either side in this conflict will mean giving up our independence, but remaining neutral may be even more dangerous unless we can find other neutral empires to stand by our side. <clears throat> What could we do? What could we do? I mean, we we think we cannot really... Um, we want our friends and us to stand against this menace together. They will both fall to our might. Oh god, that's a little bit ballsy, but hey. <laughs> so let's just hope we're staying together. The League of Non-Aligned Powers. Not all of the younger races chose to join with either side in the war raging between the Elder Empires. Some like ourselves have remained neutral, but are facing the prospect of facing the Elder Menace alone if the war should come their way. The Verulviv conglomerate... Our Federation's president has renamed our union as the League of Non-Aligned Powers and declared our goal to be opposing both sides in the war. Forming this league will almost certainly mean war with the awakened empires, but at least we have allies to stand by our side instead of facing them alone. The Veral Wave, yeah. Our eldest friends. Hey there, Veral Wave. Who? Who is that? A Pyro rune. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, the Veral Wave Fungoids. Yeah, we shall oppose together the tyranny of the Elders. Our Federation shall become the League of Non-Aligned Powers and more shall join the Federation. More and more and more and more. And we're very, we're still very close to getting the, the presidency. We want the presidency. Give us the freaking. <sighs> Good. Good. Now, everybody join, please. Join. Come on, join. <laughs> join. Hezekar Hive joined. Bibaki joined. The Bashkirin Commonwealth joined. And now we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. Uh, ah. <laughs> I mean, we're fueling what we can here. Okay, okay. Receiving transmission. The curators, yes. Uh, we need more research aid, of course. Um, diplomatic agreement with the Babaki Syndicate. Bebakis, no, oh, no, please. I mean, you're peaceful traders, but you're a criminal syndicate. No. The Provo Gulborn joined the Rushni, left the Star Alliance, and they joined our league. The Serpentians joined the league, and the Compact of Vagnosha joined the league. 
Which means we're getting stronger, but also kind of... Yeah, look at that. <laughs> what, a, what a union we have now. <sighs> the, the most powerful unification. Yeah, also the Gwesibo mandate. Let's have a look at that. The unions map mode. Look, look, look at that. That's our union. <laughs> League of non-aligned powers. <laughs> That's the tsunami. Let's let's see. The tsunami, if the tsunami also will join. I mean the Kunden have joined. Kazu's belly lost. Yeah, yeah. Expropriation is done. Are there more coming? I think the Serpentians, didn't they join? Kendla joined? Yeah, 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 yeah. Decided to end their association status. Yeah, 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 because they joined us. They just joined. So let's see what we can do. How oh, we have a lot more trade through this. A lot more trade. So, Gwesibo joined. Come on, everybody join. <laughs> Is there anyone who's not joining? Research concluded. Transgenic crops, yes. We need some transgenic crops. And. Hey, leader lifespan. Yeah, that's something exotic from time to time. But hey. Receiving transmission. The embassy from the Compact of Vaknosha. Hey there. <laughs> We're now in the same federation, I guess. There are research agreements left and right. And who will join us now? In this time of need. We have no war going on at the moment, though. No war. Hello there, Kunden Manufacturing. Wow. We agree. Oh, they are. They look, they joined the Ballot Fanatics. And the Sutherian enforces are uh, together with the Serpentians. These are the, also the Tsunami were also together with the Sutherians. They are far, far away. The Velod fanatics are closer. And now the Sutherians will have to defend. That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Ring world construction. We're now ready to begin the colossal task of building the initial frame of our future ring world around the primary star of the Zanaya's ring system. The amount of resources and materials required to build this skeletal frame will be immense and hundreds of thousands of our finest engineers stand ready to begin the process of dismantling the system's planetary bodies to metal which can be used in, in its construction we are making history beautiful build the frame nosha's opening borders great stuff so who is this uh that's that's a talk progenitors they're still there, and the Irobots. Like, we have three so far Receiving transmission. unaligned ones. But they could maybe awaken to... Who wants a research agreement now? The Compact of Vaknosha. We will learn nothing. Okay. <laughs> Receiving transmission. Embassy from the Gwesibo. Yes. You're all in the Federation. And we're happy about that. Ready to shield. Oh well. More power to us. I think we have relatively good fleet power now. Uh, 
probably not, but well, what can we do? <laughs> Let's see, how, how are we compared? Yeah, we are, we are relatively good. I mean, they're, they're of course, the value of maybe another league, but we're kind of getting there a bit. Interstellar Assembly, the console ring. The second stage of the Interstellar Assembly, the console ring, is now complete. This inner circle will house most of our diplomatic stuff going forward. Excellent. Let's have a look. Beautiful. Fantastic. Imagine all the diplomats watching this and communicating as, as like, giant-sized holograms to everyone in there. That could be something. This could be a holographic star map. Whoa. Let's get further and we get one more envoy to it as well. Which is, of course, a great thing. Let's see. Uh, did we... Uh, yeah, uh, envoys. Envoys, envoys, envoys. Wow, we're, we're getting a lot of cohesion, which is great. Mm. The rest of the envoy will envoys will stuff into the galactic community. Are you now giving me an envoy? Yes. You, Loka! <laughs> a biomorph envoy. Here we go. Getting a little bit more influence. A lot of star bases coming too, which is really great. Nice, 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 nice. So we've got this. Um, hmm. I wonder if we, if we should. No, we can. We can currently not build another mega structure. Okay, that makes sense. It makes sense in a way. So this is this is how the unions map, map mode looks, and this is how the empires look. What what happened now? Oh oh oh! Ally entered war. The Sutherian enforcers has declared war on our ally, the Valwave, and we are now at war. And the Valid fanatics are also at war with us. This is the beginning of the great war in heaven. The time is now. We must defend. We must group up. And then do what we can. To defend ourselves from the fanatics. Fanatics which have joined. And the other fanatics. Um, so, there's a lot of waiting here. Oh, we'll get some action now. Um, I mean, one of our forces is guarding the L-Gate. And I wonder if our other force should also be guarding the L-Gate. And if we should create a third force that should also defend the L-Gate, because we're not close to the conflict, I think. Let's see, we're not at the border of the conclave here. So there's that. Mm. We're kind of close here. There's a tsunami. I don't like that we have the tsunami here. But there's also more here from Vaknosha and uh, not much more actually. I still believe the main thing is to control the L gates and the gateways. Because that's where most of the invasions will happen to, right? So we are all concentrating here at terminal egress. Also meaning that that is an iron cannon, yes, okay. So we'll build 
couple other defense stations here. And we'll start a new fleet. And that fleet is going over there. We have to start a new fleet. What kind of new fleet do we want? We want a battleship fleet, a classic battleship fleet. And we want different battleship designs for that. So um, let's go to the ship designer and let's have a look. So first we have the Karate class, which you can see here. It's a defensive carrier formation, Karate class. Extremely good. And let's just design another one. We want it to go for close combat. And this means um, either the broadside or the hangar bow. So this time we're going to go for broadside. Hangar core or carrier core? Mm. I think it's going to be hangar core for now. And we're going to go for the broadside stern. So mm. For this we need a lot of afterburners. Ship fire rate, chance to hit. Mm, weapons range, yeah. Chance to hit, that's definitely what we want. Mm, and then we have a mix, so... Um, we want something... First we want something energy-based, maybe. Let's see. No, we want a mix of things. We want a mix of things. That's the, the strength of our quick moving in thing. So we don't need a lot of range, but we need a lot of damage. For the large slot, we'll go kinetic artillery. Then, what are we going to go for? Well, the hangar slot will get the advanced strike craft, of course. Mm, then we'll have the medium bows. We could go disruptors. But... The medium plasma cannons make more sense for us, I think. So we'll go for a mix there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven slots. We'll go for four of these. The Gorse Cannon has a lot more range, so we'll get this in here. So we have kind of a mix of um, kinetic and energy weaponry. And a little bit of strike craft. Hmm. Kin energy. Yeah, let's get some hyper shields going. And some neutronium armor. And that's the kin energy. And then we want another new design, a battleship, that will go into um, very high range. And possibly rockets, but rockets, we cannot have rockets here on the battleships. Or is that something I misunderstand? Yeah, we that's not something we can have. Right, so let's go for extreme range. And what kind of attack do we want there? I think neutron launches are maybe the best, but I'm not sure. Kinetic artillery could be better. Mm, Tachyon lance is pretty great. Well, let's let's see. The focused archimeter has has the penetration. The tachyon lance. Doesn't do much shield damage, but armor and hull. Armor and hull. Mm, the kinetic artillery does shield and hull. So we have 100 in that, and then we'll add the others. 
will be complementary damage. So we'll have uh, the far class. They'll just shoot far. Mm, but we still want the afterburners. I mean, it's... So they have 350, right? And they have 205. The kin energy has 195. So the far guys, they will be like our damage dealers. If we can go for that, so... Because they just just do a lot more damage, so and there's that, right? Tachyons, mm, forty-two, forty-five. Yeah, let's let's go for that. Here we go. They just do a lot of damage, crazy amounts. And they don't they don't need to be as quick as the other ships, but I still want them to be. So they can follow up in the same in the same squadron if you want, so like a battleship squadron. And then we want a Titan. At least a Titan. I don't know, maybe we'll also go for a Juggernaut, but we'll first start with a Titan. <clears throat> One Titan. Mm, which will have something positive for our ships. Let's see what we can have. They have ship fire rate plus 5%. What? Tracking plus 10 is pretty good. Nanobot cloud is, o is okay. It's okay. I mean, it will help. So let's go for the nanobot cloud. And we have weapons range. Yeah, let's go for that. That increases damage. That is good. Perdition beam, of course, is energy. There's a lot of damage and um, add in some of this. Some extra damage and maybe some neutron launchers. I'm not sure. Armand Hull. Kinetic does shield and hull. Mm. Let's add some some of these. It will be the support class, Titan support class. Let's make very balanced ships, and we want them to move fast. So for the new fleet, we want a Titan. The support class. How much do we have? We have like 55, so... And the rest, we want battleships. We want a battleship of the Far class, the Kin Energy, and of the Karate class. That will put them to 40. So we'll add three other battleships. We cannot afford to reinforce the fleet. Great. Uh, so that's new fleet. Yeah, but we are, we are broke, basically, here on the toys. <laughs> Receiving transmission. So that's our new fleet. I hope the fleet stays kind of there. What what have we received? Kundan manufacturing. Form research agreement with the Kundans. Nah. <laughs> that will cost us too much influence. And we need influence now. We need influence, influence, influence. So and we have the two defense for uh, the other defense forces coming in. Uh, 
I think we've ordered more, Do, did we? Or did, what did we start? We, we're totally out of alloys. We're plundered, basically. Sixty thousand. <laughs> oh well. We have the new fleet here still. Yeah, we could we could start the fleet now. So so it exists. So let's start with the support class on the sun station. That's a good start. Kundan is more xenophilic. Guesibo open borders, yes, nice. Let's see what happens here. What's that? The Iribots. <laughs> they have a security echelon here. Oh, they somehow they also they, they haven't yet awakened. But they might. Because they have Casus Belly on the other empires, on the other fallen empires. That's definitely significant. Yeah, that's that's our thing here. And on these isolated stations, we definitely want more uh, platforms. Yeah, that's what we built, right? We built tons of platforms. <laughs> platforms. Yeah, it's going to be an investment right now. Let's see if we can unlock something. Lothier has leveled up. Nice. Um, edicts. Mm. Yeah, thankfully we have all of this activated. Mm. Sun system. Yeah, we also kind of want the other singularity here to be protected. What's going on here? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, we're the guardians of the Elgate. That's what we want to be. That's what we will do here. Look, there's the Elgate and the other gates are definitely in there and Research moving complete. around. Yes, yes, yes. So let's see. Cell revitalization. That's good. For any biological leaders. And... Anything else here? Don't need the admin yet. Let's go for edict duration. What did we get? Our armor hit points. Beautiful. Beautiful. <sighs> if we don't get another weapon thing, we will... Yeah, we will... Yeah. We'll choose the weapon things now. And armor if we have no other choice. Terminal egress needs to continue building platforms. Here we go. This is a high security area. This is the high security area. Whoever controls the L cluster controls the movement. And if we make it possible that this is in the hands of our lions, then we will do very, very well. Where's the new fleet? <laughs> new fleet's coming. Mm. Yeah, we'll see. We have to look because we want to build, build, build defense platforms here. If we're running out of defense platforms, we'll build new defense platforms and Research more defense concluded. platforms. The end of the Bothrian Reavers? <laughs> the once proud nomadic warrior culture of the Bothrian is no more. 
Forces from the Serpentian Imperium have destroyed the last of the massive space stations that house the majority of their population. Refugees from their surviving civilian population have scattered across the galaxy. Although some Bothrian pirate and mercenary fleets may still be unaccounted for, the loss of their space dwellings is a devastating blow that they cannot recover from. This puts a definitive end to their reading. To their ruling. Let's, let's see. Oh, we want to we want to invest into weaponry now, and weaponry means for us shield hit points. There's something here moving around. Mm. We don't want them here. We don't want them here. Gateway in the Ridiga system has been constructed. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. It's there. Omnifarious acquisition? Yeah, we want all the Omnifarious acquisition we can get. <laughs> the new fleet. Enabled free migration. Yeah, okay. Wait, no, 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 no. We, we don't want that. We want free migration. Vote for Federation law. We'll vote no. community denounce the fanatics yeah okay we'll do that ah oh, they disabled free migration oh well oh well we gotta get more influence receiving transmission migration treaty proposal from the viral wave yeah, with, with you, where we've, we'll have migration. Construction site ready in the Betakove system. Very nice. The other mega projects are kind of put on hold in the view of this terrible conflict. So, energy, we were at energy, then we'll go for missile defense now. Everybody starts a migration treaty now. Oh, this will lose us so much influence. It's crazy. Initial colonization phase complete. Ah, yeah. The habitat in the Neca system has started out. We need some robots. We need some gene clinics. We need, well, I don't know. Um... Probably a military academy and then mm, some districts. What's going on here? Sixteen thousand. Whoa. They're just taking that? That's gonna be a little bit aggressive, ain't it? At least the Vakanoshan's kind of beating some things here. But yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Oh my goodness me. Guard our own space with open eyes. Where is the fleet?
Why have we... Oh. We don't want two titans, my goodness me. Want another battleship then. Two far classes. Yeah, that's fine. That conflict. That conflict. What we want to know is, do they even control one Elgate? No Elgate here. Because if they don't control even one Elgate, then we'll be able to move freely with our fleets. That would be a great advantage. And if we don't, we could invade one of their Elgates if they possess an Elgate. Here is... that's a gateway. And it seems like they don't have any Elgates under their control. Well, there's the Serpentian still. Do they possess an Elgate? No, they possess a natural wormhole that is unexplored for us. It's probably connected to the other unexplored wormhole. So we're not gonna... Mm, gonna be hard pressed to do something here. So let's see. Mm, what this means for us... We'll move over here and then we'll strike. Receiving start striking. So the Babaki won't say, oh no, no, no migration treaty with you. Vengeance of the Bothrian. A large fleet of Bothrian mercenaries has crossed into the Serpentian Imperium. Looks like all of the Bothrian mercenary outfits who were deployed elsewhere and the Serpentian Imperium smashed their last space station put their differences aside and combine forces. They are intent on exacting vengeance for the destruction of their homes and intercepted communications makes it clear that their warriors have no intention of surviving the campaign. Woo! They're going full force, full out. Mm. They're the fleet of the Holy Dominion. Maybe we could help there. But why have you built no gateways, friends? That's terrible. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> why have you built no gateways? Ah, <sighs> oh, well, there's there's an L gate at least. So we could maybe take out the Magars here. Who knows? Who knows? Their fleets are certainly not as strong as our fleets. Let's see how that goes. A lot of movement around here. Hmm. I mean, they don't need help here with Sherdland Strumland. That have foolishly chosen here to join them. And uh, I don't think the Kenla need help against the... Well, they might need help against the Tsunami, actually, because the Tsunami are surprisingly broad. Quantization complete. Opening comes. Phenox, yes. You're invited to join us. Research concluded. Firing patterns, yes, please. Something good for us. If not, we're probably gonna go for 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 the cheapest weaponry here. That's kinetic weapon damage or strike craft. Let's go strike craft. 
crafts. I love strike crafts. What are they doing here anyways? Oh, what a conflict. Yeah, well... <laughs> There's the Valid Fanatics, and there is one fleet of the Verulviv that is trying to beat down their space stations, which is foolish. Which is definitely foolish. Quantization complete. Opening comes. <laughs> hey there, Vakanosha. Nah, we don't want migration with you. How's terminal egress guarded? Missile defense, yeah, then let's go. For some of these stations. Here we go. We want an excessive amount of space stations. And then we need to think a bit where to place our fleets. There's a fleet here. That should be stopped, but will be hard pressed to get anywhere. Of course, it's just so far away. Really like to defend the barrel wave, but. Our outposts here are not in danger. This is also not really in danger, but this... ...needs some kind of intermingling. We need to send one fleet over there, friends. And because it's so so far... It needs to be the defense force. And then we have the culture cruising. And where could we move that? We need to defend the Phenox, but where do where do you have your gateway? Ah, oh, Phenox. <laughs> we must also get here. Yeah, that's maybe a, a better choice. So, there's the Vaknosha, there's the Phenox. And there are some carriers here. This is also kind of bad that they're just allowed to roam around here. Oh. Realm here is well protected. There's more coming the way. Yeah, here, that's the big cluster. Where do you have your gateway? In Suskat's Moor, I have you. Oh, goodness me. Ooh, moving like mad. Would this be better? No. This? 200 days? 300 days? Oh, this is such a terrible way because they have no gateways, really. Ah. Three hundred and twenty. Oh, it's not great. I mean, they will be stopped here for now, but there is a big fleet coming in here to Rixum. We have to try to stop them somewhere in in Voldop or somewhere. That's a strategic decision. Don't know. We don't know. Let's hope for the best, my friends. The culture is moving in. 
So yeah, our strategy is good. Or terrible. Have a great time until next time. Ha ha ha, no. I'm just kidding you. I'm gonna continue. It's still the infinity machine. And what does it do? <laughs> There's still the, the old scavenger bot. <laughs> Oh well, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Nearly the whole galaxy had joined the former Cosmic Compact to defend it from the destruction that was brought on by the Fallen Empires. But we would not falter, the Fallen Empires had to go.